What up, traders? Let me get my stuff together here. Um, GBP AUD. Crazy, 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 crazy move. Um, I kind of saw this one happening. Uh, won't really say that there's uh, a blatant entry uh, that I could have taken here. Um, maybe a trend line entry. That's not really, that's more discretionary. Um, I try to keep it mechanical. But this is just beautiful. Um, it's pretty, pretty extreme. <laughs> and then this is a confirmation candle uh, today uh, being formed, but it's bouncing hard, and uh, we're going to expect it to at least get to recent lows, um, maybe further. But I'd probably get out right here if if it were me. Uh, I would assume that this would happen over the course of you know two or three days. Uh, we've got two more days or one more day remaining in the week. So early next week, uh, exiting a position like this, but you see this extreme rejection candle. We had the deceleration and then we had a huge tail uh, rejection followed by this engulfing here. So how can we get in? Where, where was there a point to get in uh, today is a big question. Um, in this instance, I'm usually looking for a pullback into pivot, uh, supported by the 50 EMA and the uh, 20 EMA above that area, kind of acting as a barrier so that we can uh, have our stop loss way out of range. Um, in this instance, the pullback really isn't there. Uh, we would want a situation where we pulled down, we pulled back, blatantly pulled back before entering. Right now, we're kind of sideways. Um, we do have this trend line again. On a higher time frame, this is uh, much more um, telling. And okay, if you really wanted to see the daily chart in this chart, this is a one hour chart, but if you wanted to see what was happening on the daily chart, you can see it right here with the spike. This is exactly what happened. Uh, so maybe since we have like a really sloppy looking head and shoulders uh, right here on the one hour, you can see that the daily was made up of this area right here. It's really interesting whenever you can see it and uh, kind of notice uh, that each one of these charts obviously plays into the other. Um, in this instance, I don't really feel too bad about it, um, mostly because if we play off of the trend line, if we're early on this, then we would have got stopped out prematurely, uh, even though we were right on direction. Um, I've done that a million times so I'm, I'm well versed in that unfortunately but the pullback isn't there um, I think we might have an opportunity for another pullback on uh, in the intraday charts and maybe we're getting in somewhere around here obviously the average is going to be a little bit lower a lot bit lower because of uh, the strong push down for today overall so we probably have um, an average around this area so let me go ahead and do that. I know you guys used to like it whenever I did that back in the day. Um, something like this. And so that's going to be where I kind of target uh, for a pullback. Obviously, a lot needs to happen as far as uh, having a clean, uh, good-looking pullback happen there uh, in order for me to take that. But we're going to just uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, put this here um, just as a. Uh, sign that we're looking for it and then obviously as I mentioned on the daily chart um, our profit target would be recent lows so not as much of a home run doesn't look like as much of a home run uh, from this standpoint because we are a little bit later than the move itself um, but for the sake of a clean entry this is how we're going to look at this all right peace